Hey guys, Jerry here, aka Miso Honey, back again with another video. We did a top, you know, decks list a few days ago, uh, day after the expansion came out. We had the emergency nerfs, and the meta has settled down a bit to kind of really narrow down what the actual best decks are here in the format. Uh, we'll have a few honorable mentions here, two of them. Uh, obviously, this one's going to be Agro Druid. It's always almost always a honorable mention and the only reason why is it is dust friendly it is barely a legendary worth of dust and there's no epics and rares in this deck list which is the best performing deck list right now for aggro druid across the board so keep that in mind it's also really good against some of the deck uh, the top decks in the format especially death rattle rogue right now uh, seems to be doing pretty good against that, so keep that in mind, too. The other honorable mention here is Enrage Warrior, and Enrage Warrior it was doing really well against Ramp Druid, uh, but Ramp Druid's kind of getting weeded out of the format now because of Miracle Rogue, Death Rattle Rogue, Bless Priest, so on and so forth. Uh, there's so many decks now that are, are good against Ramp Druid that I'm not suspecting that we're going to see Ramp Druid until either some nerfs happen or something like that. So uh, this deck, though, across the board right now, whenever you look at its matchup spread, uh, it actually has a pretty decent matchup spread across the board here. If I would look at it here real quick, it has... Some weak matchups against like Blood Death Knight, Fell Demon Hunter, which is expected, and Miracle Rogue, which is also expected. But against everything else in the format, it's actually like 55, 60, 70 percent, uh, 70 percent against like Aggro Druid and Ramp Druid, uh, probably because of Sun Fury Champion that's helping them out a little bit here. So that's something to keep in mind for this deck. At number five here, kind of a bland one, kind of a boring one, but it's the highest win rate deck from Diamond 4 to 1 right now. And it is Imp Warlock with no new cards in it, just aggro Imp Warlock. Uh, it's, it's getting there, it has so much board rebuild, it can buff your board, it has card draw, it has everything that, that it needs from Castle Nathria. And the sets prior. So it, it's on this list. If you don't want to craft anything new here, you don't have to craft anything new to get the legend. You can just play this deck and uh, farm some of the format right now. But this deck is a little bit weak against um, like Scythe Demon Hunter and even just Quest Demon Hunter right now. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind too. This deck does not do good against those 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 decks at number four here we have blessed priest blessed priest is popping up again because it is farming those miracle rogues and also farming death rattle rogue a little bit here uh because it has the silences it makes the big taunts it just does everything really well it cycles through their deck it cheats mana it does everything really well, and the Sunwell adds a little bit of value, and Animate Dead is just a really good card at getting Peck Radiant Elementals and stuff like that, or even just a body on board to, to play Boon. So uh, this deck's doing really, really well in the format right now, not, not only at Diamond, but also in Top 1000 Legend. So uh, this is going to be one of those decks to keep an eye on. This deck might get hit with nerfs. Uh, it's just something to keep in mind here. I think Radiant Elemental is kind of on the map now, similar to Sorcerer's Apprentice, I, I would expect. I don't know if it's going to get hit with the same nerf, but I think another card here is Illuminate, and Priestess Valash uh, might get nerfed to one mana. Um, Illuminate. Probably should have been one mana to begin with, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, overall, solid deck. 
And now we get to the real spice here, which is Pure Paladin. Uh, it's more of an aggro Pure Paladin deck. Uh, this list does not run the... Oh, the lawyer thing. I don't even remember what it's called. <laughs> Class Action Lawyer. So this deck plays... This version of the deck it plays Blood Matriarch Liadrin and four Quelth Veloss. Um, I like actually probably cutting the Liadrin for another copy of the Quelth Veloss. And the card in here that I'm actually not too sold on, to believe it or not, is the Countess and Order in the Court. I think you might just want to go full-on aggro and kind of try to get there with cards like Iron Deep Trog and maybe Peasant in this deck. Or an additional 2-drop, additional Quelth Veloss, because it does so much damage whenever you have, like, Katori Lightblade uh, on the field. So, that's something to think about here. This deck's doing really, really well spread across the board. Uh, if, you were, if you're running into a lot of, like, Blessed Priest, I would definitely, or Miracle Rogue for that matter, uh, then I would definitely start playing Class Action Lawyer. Um, if not then I would stick to, like, this version of the deck and call it a day at, at that point. At number two, we have two decks. Uh, they do similar things. One fights for the board a little bit better than the other one, and the other one is more of a burst damage deck. Uh, it is my favorite class in the game. It is Scythe Demon Hunter and Quest Demon Hunter. Um, now there's some things to go over in, in, in both of these lists. Uh, one is in the quest demon hunter list. Usually you want to get a cost reduction on two of the four spell damage minions that are in your deck. And in the non quest demon hunter in the site demon hunter deck list, I think the third minion slot is still being fooled around with a little bit. I think there's a possibility that you might want uh, Lady, Steno, uh, Lady Steno and Predation in one of these slots. Um, I don't know what exactly you would cut. Uh, you would obviously cut Zymox for Steno, but it, I don't know what the other like card is. Games are beginning to go really quick, which is kind of making, like, Zymox a little bit of a liability. Uh, so that's something to think about here. Uh, I also, in this deck list, you can interchange um, Sinful Brand for... Uh, I'm spacing on the weapon. The 3-mana 2-2 two -two lifesteal weapon. I can't believe I'm spacing on it. I've played so much of it right now, and I'm spacing. Uh, I'm going to get it here in a minute here. Eldrachi Warblades. Uh, but right now, I'm, I'm trying Sinful Brand in my list, just because typically Death Rattle Rogue's making a big taunt minion that you can bump a bunch of small things into, and you can get like 12, 16 damage off of that alone, and then you can really finish off the game the turn after that. So, and plus, like, you have Kurtris. Kurtris does so much damage with, like, Fidelary Warband and stuff like that. So this deck, both of these decks are really, really good to climb right now, and both of these decks are performing really, really well at Top 1000 Legend. Also, um, not just to make Legend. Uh, they're definitely the harder decks to play, because you really have to space out your damage uh, accordingly, uh, especially the quest demon hunter deck. Like you have to know when to use cards and when to not, when you need your quest to proc and whenever you don't, so on and so forth. And at number one is Death Rattle Rogue. This deck has been popping off both at Legend and obviously climbing the legend it's just so good it has so much redundancy on the board once it gets the board it's hard for them to lose the board and it's also weeded out some of the decks of the format that people 
absolutely hate like Miracle Rogue and Ramp Druid right now. So this deck is kind of like the new boogeyman of the format, if you even want to call it that. I to me, I love this like these types of decks. I I think like Death Rattle Hunter back in the day with the uh, Double Sword Egg was really fun to play, and I think this deck is also really fun to play. I think it has, like, a, a similar style. Like, its first turns are kind of just setting up for, like, that turn three and four pop-off, similar to, like, what Death Rattle Hunter used to do. And, you know, then they either get there or they don't. And that's kind of, you know, where the game is really decided at. But, uh, you know... This is one of those decks, like, can it really pop off on turn four or turn three with the coin? Yeah, you can go Trickster into Smokescreen and really a uh, high roll, but does it happen? That happens, like, once every 10 to 12 games or so, and whenever you lose fast, you don't really feel bad to it. You kind of just move on to the next game because you got got, and then... It, it's not hard to, like, kind of just wipe this one off here a little bit, wh whether you're on either side uh, of that. And also, this deck also has a real weakness, too, because once it loses the board, it has a hard time getting the board back in the middle of the game. It doesn't have much removal. Um, there's definitely some slots that could be possibly tampered around with. I know... Blackwater Cutlass has not been a great performer in this deck. Um, and some people have talked about cutting it for, like, Wicked Stab. Or maybe uh, SI... What was it? SI... The, the tradable one. I forget what the tradable one's called. But uh, they were talking about possibly taking... Like, doing that one. I could see that, especially for your, like, aggro druid matchups... Uh, they seem pretty good with that, but overall, like, this is a pretty stacked top five deck list, and if you didn't realize, there's no Prince Renathal even in this deck, which I think is a good thing. I think Prince Renathal is good for the game. I hope that they weren't going to touch it. I'm kind of happy he's not good right now, just because I, I really like Prince Renathal in the game. I think he's good for the game. I think he'll be good... You know, in the future here, shortly after, like, the first set of nerfs. And that will be fine. I hope he goes untouched. Probably make a video. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video on that, actually. I kind of just want to focus on decks right now. Whenever they, you know, come out with the nerfs, I'll make a video on the nerfs. Then I definitely would like to see some cards nerfed. I think... Uh, Unleash Fell, there's multiple ways that you can nerf it. You could touch its mana cost by one, or I think really all it needs is it's his mana thirst ability up to like six. Uh, I think then it, it would have a little bit of a problem because you're not healing the full then so early on in the game. Um, you're kind of waiting until either six or seven. I'd be fine with that too, but uh, overall, like. I've been going into fits with this meta. I, at first, I didn't like it. And then after the emergency nerfs, it's been okay. And then I discovered Death Rattle Rogue. And after finding that deck list, I love it now. So uh, give me your thoughts on the meta. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.